video. Today we are at Singapore. So yeah, let's see what we can get into with a slowest car once per fucking usual. Like fucking clearly all the fucking time. What? I mean, oh, is that coming tomorrow? That's good. And this is the brake car. I know we were expecting some new developments to come through, but some of them have failed quality control. We'll need to tell the team what to redevelop via the R&D screen. I don't have. I'm in a service car, so. Thanks for dealing with that. The department's appreciated. Oh my god, honestly, stop asking me about doing this. Our new parts have completed without issue. We'll be on the car ready for the next race weekend. Oh, it's a sprint weekend this week. Oh, that should be fun. I'm not going to talk about us for the only coach tonight, no. I never took F122 seriously because it was just such a shit, such a shit game. Again. Regulation changes. So we're going to start saving up resources. Literally, as of this weekend, there's four races left. Or three. Also, this comes out right after the Qatar Grand Prix. IRL. So I feel like I planned this like, kind of perfectly. So what do you think? Of the, I, I because I don't know what the result would be. What would you have everyone's opinion on it? There we go, oh my god, wide, like your mum. Don't worry, I still got the whole race. And with qualifying complete, let's review our top three today. Oscar Piastri, Leclerc and Yuki Sano. Let's go guys.
Guys, if you're liking this kind of content, please like and subscribe. See ya. You see, the fact is, if we save up enough resource points, we might have enough to redo, like, keep save every single one of our upgrades, and we might be a little bit faster next season. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting sprint. Oscar Piastri lines up on pole position, and it's Charles Leclerc in P2. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Sonoda, Russell. Norris, Gasly, Verstappen, Ocon, Perez, Sainz, Joker, Magnussen, Button, Albon, Drogovic, Hulkenberg, Joe, De Vries, Liam Lawson, Sato, Stroll, and Theo Porcher. Which of these drivers will get pole position today? We'll soon find out. And alongside me once again for coverage of today's race is none other than the great Anthony Davidson. The last few races have been a bit rough for them, unable to get a clean run. That's got to have some effect on their confidence, surely. Certainly confidence is an important factor. And every time you're in... Yep, let's go. I'm just going to skip the formation up like I normally do. It's five lights, and away we go for the Qatar Grand Prix. Perez off to a slow start, so is fucking um, Gasly. Boom, there's one point salvaged. Gasly makes a move down the inside of me, but he doesn't make it because he doesn't go for it properly. Uh, I'm running wide, there's no way. I think we're going to start saving some resource points for because of the regulation changes. All right, let's focus now for the rest of the race. Thanks, whoever the fuck you are. Okay, so that's a red flag. Red flag. Fucking asshole. Right, drop your speed. Our delta's too low, and we're gonna. Risk what is he? Delta. Fuck this. Just retired from the race already. When I've done jack shit fucking wrong, he hit the side of my car. And after 
after this round of the World Championship. So annoying. Let's go. Can we restore some points? Maybe. Oh my god. Let's go. We're under the lights once again here in Qatar. Last year we took a year off due to a small footballing tournament that was being hosted, but it's all excitement on the track now. We're back here in LaSalle for a track that's 3.34 miles long. There are 16 turns around its unique three-prong shape and just a single DRS zone out of turn 16. It's fast and it's flowing and there's a good overtaking opportunity with DRS down the long straight and into turn one. Off the back of a fantastic qualifying session, it's time to see how our starting grid looks like for today's race. An immense lap from Carlos Sainz yesterday puts him in pole position. And it's Pierre Gasly in P2. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Perez, Albon, Button, Ocon, Russell, Magnussen, Norris, Verstappen, Leclerc, Joe, Hulkenberg, Sato, Stroll, Drogovic, Liam Lawson, Theo Porcher, De Vries, and, and let's talk about Joker. What do you make of their performance so far this season? Well, the atmosphere within that team seems very positive at the moment. Everyone seems like they're in great spirits and having a lot of fun doing what they do. And that's definitely contributed to the performances we've seen. Damn. It's five. Let's know when we go for the Qatar Grand Prix. Grand Prix. What the fuck? Engine off. Engine off. No, she's complete bullshit. Honestly, man.
Yo, fuck you, man! Honestly! Really? Bro, I don't want to restart the race, I want to panic and do the race. I don't know if you can fight that boyfriend's. Underbodies incurred some slight damage, but nothing too serious at the moment. Just be careful. Virtual safety car, virtual bullshit, safety car. red flag, bullshit. Fucking bullshit. Honestly, fucking whole company. Drop. Really? I've three penalty. Yeah, it's five of us know where we go for the Qatar Grand Prix. Best start so far. I like them type of starts because it's a bit crazy. You know what? Fuck you. Kill yourself. I just okay. want to do a race. And I want to do it nicely. Life restart. And if I DNF, I just delete the game. Father, let's know where we go. Again. No, no such thing as yellow flags no more. You you're not okay? fucked, let's end the video. Okay, How Come on, hello! Oh, the game's actually broken this time.
Fuck this. The rest was shit anyway, I guess. I don't know what it is, but this car... None of... I can't even race this car apparently no more. Apparently can't even fucking drive. Come on, just end the race for me! End my fucking suffering! What a fantastic Grand Prix that was, and an excellent... Oh, McLaren won it, wow. As the winners make their way up to the podium, one can only imagine the celebrations that will take place at McLaren tonight. Congratulations to everyone on the team, securing the win and proving... And proving the they're better than us. I don't want to watch the replay. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one, in a bit.